All right, lesson 15 is on the slope of a non-vertical line. So we're still in module four, and we're gonna really start, um, no, we're gonna keep focusing on linear equations. We've been doing that, but we're gonna focus on the graph, on um, what characteristics the graph have, and this word slope is gonna keep coming up. This is a really, really big idea when we talk about algebra, the slope of a line, it tells us things. Good news, you've dealt with the slope before. We just maybe referred to it as the constant or the unit rate. So let's look at these two graphs, okay? So we have graph A right here, and we have graph B. All right, so in part A here is asking which graph is, graph is steeper. So maybe um, if you're a skier, right? Um, if you're like me, you're on the bunny hill, right? Not very steep. You're really adventurous. You like the black diamonds. You're going to go down pretty steep. Another way to think of it is maybe you're a hiker, right? Oops, and don't laugh too hard at my drawing here. Okay, so would you rather hike up this hill? If we think of this as hills or this one, okay, which one are you gonna would be a little bit easier? Probably graph A, right? So if we say which one is steeper, that's gonna be graph B. It's gonna exert a lot more energy. You're going up quicker for graph B. So we're gonna say which graph is steeper? Graph B. So um, the next question then says, write the directions that explain how to move from one point on the graph to a, the other for both graph A and graph B. So unfortunately, I'm getting rid of my little stick people here. Let's be honest, we're not gonna miss them. Okay, so if we have to go from one point to another, you've gotta pick two points on the graph. Don't just pick a random point in the middle. Then it's gonna be hard to count because if we're explaining how to move, I wanna say how much we're going up and over. So I'm gonna pick maybe this point right here and this point, okay? doesn't say what points, just says uh, move from one point to the other. So if I'm on graph A right here, and I want to go from here to here, I'm going to say I'm going to move two units up, and three units right. Okay, so I'm going to um, tell you, all I'm explaining here is how to get from one point to another. The easiest way is to say go two up through the right. How about graph B? Again, I want to pick two points on it. So, oh, let's see, maybe right here and here. Okay. So if I want to go, because we always read from left to right, <coughs> excuse me, normal reading on a graph, left to right. If I want to go from here to here, I'm going to go up one, two, three, four, and I'm going to go to the right, one, two, three. So I'm going to go four units up and three units right. Write the directions from part B, this right here, as ratios and compare the ratios. Okay, then we'll come back to the steeper question. So ratios, remember that is just another word to write a fraction. We're comparing two numbers. So um, in part A here, I'm going to go up and right. So I'm going up two, right three. For graph B, I'm going up four and right three. So if we want to compare these, okay, well, Basically, they both have the same denominator of three. We want to say which one's bigger. So we're saying comparing one is smaller, one's bigger. Well, four thirds is going to be greater than two thirds. So I can say two thirds is less than four thirds. So this is the bigger one, right? How does that compare to the part that was steeper? Well, graph B was steeper. Graph um, B also has a greater ratio. So we're gonna say graph B is steeper. Ooh, we're gonna try spell right. Ugh. And has a greater ratio, ratio of up to right. But I'm just gonna say and has the greater ratio. All right, so we're gonna look at a couple more examples like this. And obviously you can tell there's something important about this ratio of going up and right or you know up and down left to right so let's look at a couple more examples we're going to kind of do the same thing and see what conclusions we can come up with all right so 
graph A and graph B right here. Graph A, again, there's from left to right, and graph B. Ah, it's my type of hill I want to hike right there. Which graph is steeper? A. Again, if you imagine a little stick figure walking up here, this is a way more easily leisurely walk than this one is. So we're going to say A is steeper. Um, and then, I'm sorry, I'm not leaving a lot of room for these, but it says write directions that explain how to move from one point on the graph to the other. This is what we did before. So for A, I don't know, maybe I'll pick this point right here to this point. It's kind of hard to see exactly where they go through. But let's see, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. So for A, I'm going four units up and five units right. For B, and you might have to trust me on this one. I know this is hard to see. I think it's going through the line like right. Oh, I'm going to have to look at my, oh, right here. Okay. And it's not moving up very much. Maybe right here. Okay. So I'm actually going to go up one. You can see me getting closer to the screen here, trying to figure this out. And over one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, you gotta trust me on that one. So part B, we're going one unit up. I'm sorry, graph B, and twelve units right. Okay, so let's talk about these ratios again that we're gonna squeeze in. I'm sorry. So A is four units up. Five units right. B is one unit up, 12 units right. Now, if I just did this on a calculator, if I divided four by five, that would be 0.8. Um, if I divided one by 12, I would get 0 0.083 repeating. So obviously, 0.8 is bigger. So that's graph A. Notice that we said that was steeper too. So, same thing here. Graph A is, is steeper and has the greater ratio again of up to right. Okay, one more. One more and then we're going to start, you know, talking about, ooh, the steepness, this ratio. What does that all mean? All right. Which graph is steeper? Not what I wanted to do. Hmm. That's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? They look pretty similar. Like, imagine the stick figure walking up these. Um, they kind of look the same. So I'm just going to go with that for now, right? We're investigating here. Look the same. All right, so let's do our directions again. A, say if we go from this point to this point. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to go up four and one, two, three, four. I'm going to go to the right four. So four units up, four units right. Okay, so on this next one here, let's say I'm going to go from here and to here. So I'm going to go up one, two, three, and we'll go to the right, one, two, three. So for B, three units spelling errors. Three units up, three units right. So take our ratios here. So if we have A, the ratio of up is four to right is four. For B, the ratio, wow. that's what happens when I rush, is three units up, three units to the right. Which one's greater? Well, I'm pretty sure this reduces to one, four over four, and this reduces to one, so they're the same. And remember, we said at the 
the steepness too. We thought it looked the same. So they have equal ratios. So they have the same steepness that I'm going to squeeze in. All right, and then the next video, sorry, that's a steepness. Um, we're going to talk about the importance of this ratio and what it's going to mean for different types or how we're going to find it and what it's going to mean.